Good evening, welcome to Blackadder Sports Complex for girls high school soccer between Culver Community Cavaliers and the Rochester Zebras. Starting lineups for Culver. Number one, Cassidy Bank. Number five, Madeline Hamilton. Number six, Maya Marula. Number eight, Abigail Zayner. Number nine, Megan England. Number 11, Ariana Vela. 16, Amaya Williams. 17, Giselle Villegas. Number 18, Grace Bark. Um, is she 24 tonight? Number zero, Katie Shouten. And number 25, Eliana Andrzejewski. Now for the Lady Zebras, starting lineup. In the goal, 98, Miley Heinzman. Number three, Taylor Navarra. Number four, Brooke Nelson. Number six, Riley Anderson. Number seven, Chloe Wynn. Number eight, Audrey Wagner. Number nine, Skyla Mitchell. Number 12, Bria Rensberger. Number 22, Kelsey Walker. 23, Jaden Horn. And 28, Lily Watson. Everybody please stand for the playing of the National Anthem. Welcome to the Brent Blackatour Memorial Sports Complex for tonight's girls soccer game between the visiting Culver Lady Cavaliers and the host Rochester Lady Zebras. Culver comes in with a record of 3-2 and two and Rochester comes in with a record of 0-4. Oh and, and both teams have gone about, about it differently this year. Culver scored a ton of goals. Giselle Villegas has scored 20 goals by herself already and the Lady Zebras, well they haven't scored yet in four games and they're coming off a 9-0 loss to Logansport the other day. Uh, Culver lost to Jimtown 6-1 to earlier in this week, so it's kind of interesting to see wh where these teams at confidence-wise. Uh, again, I think the key to this game is going to be can the Rochester defense, can they stop Giselle Villegas, who is just a great player. She's just got great speed, great shot. But, you know, it's a young Rochester team. 13 of their 16 players are either freshmen or sophomores, but the experienced players that they do have tend to play in the back row, players like uh, Audrey Wagner and Lily Watson. So let's see how they defend against Giselle Villegas, and let's see how they defend against Cassidy Banks, who's also off to a great start this season. So Culver and Rochester. Culver comes in ranked number 17 in Class 1A. And again, the Lady Z is looking for their first win. Rochester setting up in a 4-3-3. Going to have Taylor Navarra back in the midfield for the Ladies' Ease. And 
that center mid is that's she has about got the ball on her foot now. That's a fre that's another freshman, Bria Rensberger. And she sends it up and it's taken away by Culver's Maddie Hamilton. Hamilton tries to get through the midfield. Chloe Wynn steps in the way. But Culver maintains possession and through the middle and taking a shot and going high is Villegas. Giselle Villegas has that very quick first step. Well, all of her steps are quick. She's able to get off a shot. Goalkeepers for Rochester, Miley Heinzman, and for Culver, Katie Scouten. Goal kick for Rochester after the shot by Villegas is high. Knocked down, what good play there. Is that Banks? Villegas. Good pressure applied by Culver. Hands on Culver. Just knocked down those uh, Ariana Vela wears number 11 in white for the Lady Cavs. Zaner. Hamilton. But sent back. Now Maddie Hamilton again. Sends it toward the goal. And fielding in a one hop is Miley Heinzman. Bowsett Suris here. Steve Stricker is producing tonight. Steve's upstairs. Well, nice move. Shot. And a goal. A goal by Cassidy Banks. And Culver takes a 1-0 lead less than two minutes into the game. Boy, Banks was able to angle that shot and put it right in the back left corner. I don't think Heinzman had much of a chance on that one. Heinzman with the save. Pops up in the air. Rensburg tries to settle it, but it was Vela who gets to it. Wagner, can she get by Villegas? Down the sideline. Winds up on the foot of Brooke Nelson. Goes out. Brooke Nelson, one of two seniors. She and Lily Watson are the two seniors on this Rochester team. There's Rensberger. Tries to pass diagonally. A nice play by Zayner. She gets knocked off the ball by Riley Anderson. Banks. Play by Wagner to keep it away from her. Eliana Andrzejewski with the ball there for Culver. Oh, the ball slips through, and it's going to be off sides. Villegas would have had a shot there, but she was off sides. Rensberger. Some nice support there by Taylor Navarra. Amaya Williams of Culver had it there. Nifty footwork by Andrzejewski, but Skyla Mitchell kept her from doing a whole lot with it there. Good play by Maddie Hamilton. She steals it, then she turns up ahead. Heads to the right sideline. Banks, Banks in the box, 
to Viegas who shoots, saved by Heinzman. Heinzman sets it up for the air. Zaner couldn't quite settle it. Then she comes back and steals the ball from Kelsey Walker of Rochester. And Walker gets it back. Williams, back to the middle. Rensberger wins it. Throw in for Culver. Last touch by Culver, so will be a throw in for Rochester. One nothing, Culver played about five and a half minutes. Can Watson get up to that? Oh, Scott wins the race to it. Punt takes a big hop, Wagner Sends it back. Hamilton. Nice play by Rensberger. Nice play by Skyla Mitchell. Chantel Rensberger has talked to her players about, about to her defenders, but don't be afraid to don't be afraid to move up a little bit. You don't want to sit back if you, if you get, there's no chance you can get. Your opponent called for offsides if you're playing that far deep and trust your own speed. You can get back there. Sub in for Culver. Alec Burkett now in. Alex a sophomore. She's wearing number 12 in white. Should give Abigail Zaner a break. Throw in for Mitchell in Rochester. Nice moves by Hamilton. Viegas. She gets to it. Passes back. Andrzejewski. And we'll send it through the middle of the field, but it goes wide and it goes out, and it will be a goal kick for Rochester. Bounces over Wynn's head and goes out. Throw in for Culver, Ariana Vela. Hamilton, Chloe Wynn, touch. Through ball down the middle. Can Villegas get to it? Nope, good play by Wagner. Villegas to the middle of the field. Rensberger comes back and helps out. That last touch by Villegas, I think it was. Goal kick for Rochester. Bela gets in the way of a goal kick and hustles down the loose ball. Williams back up. Rensberger. Rensberger. Hamilton runs her off the ball. Vela. Villegas tries to support. Chloe Wynn off the ball. Throw in for Culver. Yep. Hamilton. Banks. Kelsey Walker had him. Well, Maddie Hamilton's just been everywhere so far. Villegas. Oh, her shot was blocked at the last second. 
Good defense. That was Wagner. There's Hamilton going from behind. Taking it away from Walker. Like that by Rochester would be a throw in for Culver, but first a sub. Zaner is coming back in. She will give Alec Burkett a break. Some really nice footwork there. Was that? That was Skyla Mitchell. Kept it in. Hamilton along the right sideline. And fielding in a one hop is Heinzman. One nothing Culver. At about ten and a half minutes. Punted up ahead by Heinzman. Zaner can't keep it in. It'll be a throw in for the Lady Z's. I think that was Walker who knocked it out. Bria Rensberger. Bria. A nice play by Banks. That was a very nice play. Ahead and Heinzman runs on the field side on one hop before Villegas can get to it. Runs it ahead close to midfield. Watson gets a foot on it. Baylor to Banks. Back away by Navarra. Lily Watson down the middle of the field. Lily. Down. Wagner. Navarro. And Wagner will send that toward the Culver bench. Throw in for the Lady Cavs. Bala. Navarro got a piece. That was a nice pass by Villegas, and now she gets it back. Centers it. The shot, and she scores. It just did cross the goal line. I think that was Banks who got it. Culver takes a 2-0 lead. So 2 nothing Culver. Throwing from Rochester. Navarra gets it in. Bela gets a step on win. The throw in for Culver. That's Hamilton. Knocked down by Skyla Mitchell. She gets out of the box, gets out of trouble. Walker gets a run going, but it's intercepted. Hamilton. Off 
the side of the net. Andrzejewski with the shot. Sub in for Rochester. Lexi Martyr in for Brooke Nelson. Nice play by Walker. Lily Watson with a toe on it. Gets through the middle. Lily Watson. Lily Watson into the box. Lily Watson shoots and Scouten is there to stop it. First shot of the game for the Lady Z's. Rensberger settles it. Sends it through and again. Scout and runs that one down. It's a family affair here at Rochester. Chantal Rensberger is the head coach. Her father, Mark Gordon, is the volunteer assistant, and her daughter, Brina Rensberger, is a freshman player on the team. Bria. comes Culver. A nice play by Riley Anderson, but Scouten is able to get to it and send it back. Navarro trying to settle. Play broken up by Malia Johnson, knock that. It'll be a throw in for Rochester. Here comes Navarro. Adamaris Rojas Mendoza had it. Rensberger sends a long through ball, but Scouten will field it. The rib cage, the side of Rensberger, goes out. Sub in, Banks. Coming back in for Culver. Andrzejewski. Bela's going to throw it in momentarily. Culver leads at 2 to nothing. 23-30 to go about. So we played about 16 and a half minutes. Villegas over to Banks. Banks along the right flank. Sends it across the pitch. It goes out. It'll be a goal kick for Rochester. Hamilton, Taylor Navarra, last touch by Navarra. It'll be a throw in for Culver. Hamilton to Villegas. Knocked out by Chloe Wynn. Well, this is a, an interesting experience for Chloe Wynn, but it, I mean, I again, Coach Rensberger has talked a lot about how much she likes Chloe Wynn and her potential to ever mark up a great senior like Villegas. And speaking of which, the shot is, and she scores her 21st goal of the year, and it comes with 22-22 to go in the first half. Culver takes a 3 to nothing lead. She kept it low, and she got it by Heinzman. Not going to keep Giselle Villegas down for long. She has been torrid pace. Navarra. Navarra gets it back. Throws a through ball. Can Watson get there? Yeah, but she kicks it for the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for Scouten and the Lady Cavs. Intercepted by Watson. 
Maddie Hamilton goes back. Hustling at the other end is Martyr, but she can't keep it in. Throw in for Culver. Martyr. Maya Williams just kicks it off to the side. Lily Watson runs it down. Lily between defenders. Banks. Good play by Wagner. Goes out. Throwing for Culver. Sub in for Culver. Aiden Molbash. She's a freshman. She's now in. Brooke Nelson is back in for Rochester. Rojas Mendoza gets a break for Culver, and Rensberger will step out for Rochester. Villegas. Banks. Banks to Villegas. It's onside, and her shot. Or is that offsides? Nope, offsides. Just off. A.J. Neese wanted a explanation for that one. Martyr. Boy, a good battle there. A nice job by Malia Johnson. Away by win. Wagner gets it off to the flank. Whistle. I'm guessing there's a foul. Direct kick for Culver. Banks tries to settle. Turns the corner. Hamilton. Banks. Banks working on Mitchell. Shoot save by Heinzman. I don't know if that was on goal, but well, he was able to corral that one. Mark Gordon has been working a lot with the goalkeepers. Again, you lose a Rochester's lost a couple great keepers the past couple of years. Lost Melody Heisey last year. Before that it was George. It was Kaylee Woods. Navarra knocked down by Hamilton. Support there by Mitchell. She'll send it deep. Amaya Williams. Amaya Williams. Knocked down by Navarro. Pushes it up ahead. Scout and fields it. Well, Wagner couldn't get that. And then Wynn couldn't get it. Giselle Villegas has it. Giselle Villegas in the box. Giselle shoots. She scores. Four to nothing. Culver with 17-13 to go in the first half. Goal number 22 on the year. Rochester couldn't settle that long ball. Once Villegas did, she had an avenue to the goal. Villegas. 
Hey, guys. Here's a through ball. Wagner runs it down. Audrey. Just kick it out. Brooklyn Lefebvre now in for Culver. And she will give Zaner a breather. Hamilton. Kind of deflected off her knee, but that was a really nice pass. Oh, Vela. Before Vela could control it, Wagner was able to knock it out. Good play by Wagner. Skyla Mitchell. Walker running the left flank. Walker. Maddie Hamilton again. It's another nice play. There's Navarro running it down. Well, you're just not easily going to get the ball around Maddie Hamilton. Banks? Did she get there? Nope. Andrew Wagner with a nice touch. And Andrzejewski. Pass, can Villegas get to that one? Passes it. Heinzman runs it down, foul on Culver. Goal kick, so Wagner will take it after the foul. Subs coming in for Culver, Avery Keller, senior. For Rochester, Riley Anderson's back in to give Brooke Nelson a breather. Navarra. Nice defense by Aiden Molbash. Hamilton. Wagner forces it to the side. Andrzejewski. Win. Can't control it. Good support. Shot by Villegas and a save by Heinzman. it out by Heinzman. Throw in for Culver. They lead it four to nothing. Played about 27 minutes. Here at Black Tour. Nice turn by Banks. out, kept in. Is that Skyla Mitchell? No. Ooh. Brooklyn Lefever took a shot to the midsection. I think that she's going to get sub for. She's hurting a bit. Megan England. Back down by Wynn. Megan England and Wynn. Megan England. Back to Hamilton. England. Oh, 
Wagner. Amaya Williams. Who's going to get there? Whistle and a foul on Banks of Culver. Andrzejewski. A whiff by Navarro, so Andrzejewski is able to control. Trying to get by Wagner, and she does. Viegas. Kind of glanced off the shoulder of Avery Keller, and Heinzman runs it down. Viegas. Working on win. Back to Hamilton, middle of the field. And Rzezewski. Can she get there? Yes. Hamilton. Hamilton with a shot. She scores. Just ticked off the hands. And with 10.39 to go in the first half, we've reached Running clock time, 5 nothing Culver. Boy, just a high shot, and well, we've just kind of missed time to jump, and it's 5-0, so running clock. I believe it's a running clock for the rest of the game. Out by Rochester. It'll be a throw in. That's Lily Kuykendall, the number seven for Culver, and she's got it. Mm, she just handed it off to Maddie Hamilton, will throw it in. Got some, a connection between these two programs. Kaylee Hamilton, who's Maddie's older sister, is a freshman on the soccer team with, at IU South Bend, and one of her teammates is Amy Williams, 2023 Rochester Grand Pack. I think, I think Kaylee Hamilton and Amy Williams are not only teammates, they're roommates also. Subs coming in. Abigail Zaner's back in for Culver. Is it Olivia Williams is back in? Banks and Andrzejewski will take a breather. 5 0 Culver. 9 15 to go in the half. Hamilton in the midfield. Throws it up ahead. Wagner. Sends it off to the side. Finally knocks it out. Audrey Wagner, a great 200 and 400 meter runner in track in the spring. You need to be fast if you want to win and beat, beat her in a race. But Giselle Villegas is one of the people who might be capable of beating her in a race. Hamilton. Olivia Williams. Mitchell. Skyla. Nope. Oh, Hamilton. Wagner misses. Hamilton. Villegas. Kuykendall. Mitchell dispossesses her. Well, you can tell Skyla Mitchell is just, I mean, first of all, she's a better athlete. And not only that, but she's just a technically more skilled player. Only well, had a nice half. Zayner can't really get her boot into that one, and it'll go past the goal line. It will be a goal kick. Sub coming in. Martyr back in for Rochester. She will give Kelsey Walker a breather. Sophomore subbing in for a sophomore. Navaya Goodman's in for Rochester. She's wearing number 30 in black.
Keller. Wagner. Flips it ahead. Maddie Hamilton. Oh, stolen by Mark, by, uh, was that Navarra? Yeah, it was Navarra, Martyr. A whistle, Watson goes down. Number 23 in black, by the way, is Jaden Horn. Jaden is a sophomore, midfielder. Rensburger a little frustrated, didn't quite get as much weight on that kick as she would have liked. Goal kick for Scouting and the Lady Cavs. 5-0 Culver, six minutes to go in the half. We're in running clock time. So the clock's only going to stop on an injury or, well, it's going to stop at halftime. But it's not going to stop when a goal is scored. And I believe that's the case even if Rochester gets the lead under five, it's still going to be that way. Ladies, he's still looking for the first goal of the season, though. Knocked out by Rensberger. Goal kick coming from Scouten and the Lady Cavs. Oh, Watson with the interception. Can Watson control? Nope. Through ball. Nice play there. Olivia Williams. Gets bumped off by Wynn. Riley Heinzman has it. Punts it up. In the direction of Goodman, but it was also in the direction of Maddie Hamilton who runs it down. Now, Maddie Hamilton has been everywhere. I think Keller might have gotten a piece of that, but Heinzman's able to run it down. Sends it up ahead. Navarra, long through ball. Watson get there. She's able to, I think, dish it off to Rensberger. And that is knocked over the goal line. It'll be a, a corner kick for Rochester, their first. Subs. Walker back in for Rochester. Maya Marulis in for Culver. Mark up. Mark up. Corner kick. Ooh. Deflected off a Rochester player. Then I think directed off, uh, deflected off a Culver player. It'll be another corner kick for Rochester. Coming up on three and a half minutes to go. Hey, Banks with two goals, Villegas with two goals, and Hamilton with one. That one gets set in the middle. And a whistle. Is that a foul on Culver? I think so. Rensberger will take a kick before Culver can really set up the wall, but Scouten is right there for it. Chantal Rensberger talks a lot about seeing the game in triangles. In a lot of ways, the, the field is one big triangle. And it's trying to get her other players to, to see the game the way she does. Win. Knocks it out. Throw in Culver. Subs. Alec Burkett's back in. And Hazel Tomblin. Burkett, number 12, is a sophomore. Tomblin, number 22, she's a freshman.
off the knee of Navarra. Alec Burkett with the touch. Hamilton. Well, that's just a strong, alert play by Audrey Wagner. Watson. Bria Rensberger. Bria. Was almost, was almost whipped by the defense, but that was a good job of backup there by Amaya Williams. For Culver, and she kicks it out, and we'll have some subs. Ruthie Love, a freshman, is now in for Rochester. She will give Martyr a breast. Kind of a back heel touch. Winds up with Hamilton. Maddie down the middle of the field. Through ball. Can it get there? Offsides. There are only two officials, and they're both kind of on the field. It's not, neither of them has a flag. They're both running the field. I'm not sure if we've seen much of that. I, I don't know if that's because of the some sort of shortage or just a different way of doing things. There's Rensberger running the right flank. Bria shoots knocked out. The scout got a hand, I think, but it also then got a, a small piece of post. You heard a little bit of clank. And that is the end of the first half. We're at halftime here at Brent Blackator Memorial Sports Complex. Impressive half for the Culver Lady Cavaliers as they lead Rochester five to nothing. The Peru Rochester volleyball match, which is coming up later tonight, over at the RHS gym. Rochester volleyball team 0 1 in conference play. Okay, we're underway in the second half. Maddie Hamilton gets by Watson. That was a nice play by Jaden Horn. To win that ball away from Banks. Wagner knocks that one past the goal line. It'll be a corner kick for Culver. I could have said that Banks was trying to deposit one in the net, but that would be really kind of lame. So I won't say it. She continues not to deposit. Maybe the coach will withdraw will withdraw her from the game. No, no that won't happen either. Okay, 5-0 Culver. Played a minute into the second half. Shot that was not on goal. Heinzman was there. Zondrzewski with the shot. Put some weight behind it, but it was not on frame. Punted out of bounds by Heinzman. Throw in Culver. Mitchell. Navarra, long through ball. Unable to settle. It was Riley Anderson. She almost had it. But a good play by Scouten, and she runs it down and punts it past midfield. Banks gets a step on Wagner, but Mitchell's there to help out for Rochester. Banks gets it back. Giselle Villegas. Good play by Mitchell to break up that pass. Walker. Zaner just fell, so Walker's able to send it ahead. Maya Maroulis gets a touch, but come the Lady Z's. Maroulis and Anderson 
battling for it. Abigail Zaner will come down. With it. Abigail Zaner, good speed. She's on the softball field. She's very better athletes on this team. There's Navarra. Navarra in the box. Can Watson get there? No, Williams. Amaya Williams. Played by Wagner. It takes kind of a backwards bounce, and Andrzejewski with a through ball. Can Banks get there? No, Wagner gets there first. But then it deflects off, and Wagner tries to shoot it, but goes over the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for Rochester. Next up, Martyr. Here we'll give Ruthie Love a break. 5 nothing, Culver. Played a little under five minutes here in the second half. Goal kick makes it way past Zaner. Maroulis supports for Culver. And now Zaner. Zaner in space. Abigail Zaner. Abigail Zaner shoots wide right. Goal kick for Rochester. And as good as Viegas and Banks have been, I would imagine it would thrill A.J. Nice even more if other girls can show that they can finish. Zaner. Walker, Walker and Zaner battling for it. It goes out. Throw in, Culver. Yeah, Abigail Zaner just said she liked a breather. She's really been all over the place. Foul. It'll be Wagner. Putting a boot to it. Anderson falls on the ball. Navarro there to back up. Taylor. Navarro inside the 18. But Williams blocks that. And a whistle. Foul on Rochester, a direct kick for Culver. Zaner. Nice play by Navarra. Warren got a touch, but Aiden Mulbash breaks that play up. Knocked out. Throw in Culver. Andrzejewski, but first a whistle. Subs. Nelson in for Horn, and as we suspected, Abigail Zaner is going to come out for a breather. Uh, Mackenzie Dowd is number 15 in white for the Lady Cavs, who's now in there. Centering pass, does that get to Banks? She gets there, Skyla Mitchell's on her. Knocked out, and is that going to be a corner? I think so. I think it deflected off a Rochester player's leg. And it will be. Played about seven minutes in the second half. Ariana Vela to take the corner. Deflected out, and it's going to be a goal kick for Rochester. The corner was kind of in the direction of the near post and hit a Culver player and went out. Ariana Vela. 
Vela. Silviegas, a shot is wide right. Be a goal kick for the ladies' ease. Bounds on the goal kick. Andrzejewski, that play is broken up by Wagner. Viegas has got it. I think, so. I, think I heard a whistle. There was no whistle. Banks, Banks. She scores. Six nothing Culver. Well, I think it seemed like both teams kind of stopped on the whistle. Banks finally picked up the loose ball and scored on it. to Villegas, Wagner, Audrey, Hamilton chasing her, through ball by Wagner, Scouting. Banks tries to settle it, settles at her feet, Wagner's right there with it, Vela, Dowd can't settle it. Walker. A nice play by Maya Marulis. She's been pretty steady in presence there in the back line for the Lady Cavs. Hamilton. There is Wynn. But there's Villegas on the left flank. Centering pass, Banks. Hamilton. Offsides. Culver coaches wanted Banks to take a shot there. She had a good look at one, but it was offsides. The goal kick kind of grazes off. Navarra controlled by Maddie Hamilton. Pass to Banks. Banks shot, and she scores. Steve Banks makes it seven to nothing. Jeffsky's hurting a little bit, so I think we're going to have an injury timeout. Christina Hughes, the trainer, is out on the field now. What's going on here? No, what's the looking? Yeah, if the trainer comes on the field, you've got to come out of the game, even if you're, even if you think you can go. But once we have a sub, Brooklyn Lefevre is coming back in for Culver. Andrzejewski's out. She'll talk to the trainer. Doesn't look to be too serious. Throw in for Rochester. 
restart the clock. Twenty eight minutes left. Viegas. Hamilton. Bela. Through ball, can Watson get there? Nope, scout. Katie Scott hasn't been too busy in this game, but Oliver, she's been really alert. And where she touches the ball, something good seems to happen. Throw in, Mitchell. Knocked out. Be a throw in for Rochester. Mitchell and Strikes Anderson to get down the field, and she does. It's a nice throw in, but the play is broken up by Amaya Williams. Are we going to have a corner? We're going to have a corner. Nice play by Maroulis again. She'll get it out of the 18. She'll kick it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Rochester. Mitchell. Knocked out by Maroulis. Another throw in. This time Rensberger will make the throw, but first to sub. Trinity Collins, a junior, is now in for Rochester, wearing number 29 in black. She'll sub in for Lexi Martier. The only two seniors on this Rochester team are Watson and, and Nelson. Another corner kick for Rochester. Rensberger puts a foot in it. Deflected again. It was deflected by Dowd. It went off it went off another Culver player, so it'll be another corner kick. Now we'll have a goal kick, and now we'll have a sub. Alec Burkett back in for Culver. She'll give Maroulis a break. AJ Neese with a handshake to Maya Maroulis, who's been a very big factor here. Maroulis, just a sophomore, a key part of the defense. I mean, we talk about how young Rochester's team is, but it's not like, I mean, I guess Culver's team is more veteran, but get some young players, too, who have been making a big contribution, especially out of that sophomore class. There's Burkett, who's one of those sophomores. Vela, now she's a senior. Wagner again, breaking up the play. Trinity Collins. Rensberger. Rensberger goes down. Navarro. Scout and calls off for defenders and boots it up to midfield. Wagner retreats on it, settles it with her shin. Avery Keller. Nope, oh, Chloe Wynn with some support. Nice play by Wynn. A lot of soccer is technical, but a lot of it is anticipation. You got to be thinking but about five seconds in advance. You always have to imagine that the ball's being hit in your direction. Subs, Horn is back in, Martyr is back in for Rochester, Zaner is back in for Culver. And 
Nelson and Navarro will get breathers. Clover leads seven to nothing. Played about 57 minutes. Whistle. Scouting with a goal kick coming up. Xander can't, can't quite settle. Rensberger. Horn. Nice play, I think. Was that? That was a nice job by Burkett. There's Zayner. Boy, Zayner just competing real hard out there. Winning a free, winning that ball away from Collins. Now here comes Zayner. And Zayner can't quite control it. Miley Heinzman runs it down. Hamilton. Nice move. Good support by Wagner. Back comes the Lady Z's, trailing seven to nothing. We foul on Vela of Culver. Got a little physical there, trying to win a ball. Wagner up ahead, intercepted by Vela. Viegas, middle of the field. She heads to the left. Now cuts back inside. Nice shot by Viegas to steal it from Walker. Now Zayner in the Middle of the pitch. Wagner. Over to Collins. And both of these teams in class 1A of sectional 35, which Argus will host beginning on Monday, October 2nd. Sectional draws coming up on Sunday, September 24th. If you're looking ahead. Some subs. Banks is back in, and so is Adamaris Rojas Mendoza. Aiden Molbash will get a nice hand from her coach and her teammate. She was the one who broke up that play in the box. That was a very nice defensive play. Every Keller also getting a breather for Culver. Played by Mitchell. We're definitely seeing a more confident Skyla Mitchell. There's some nice footwork by there by Vela to Hamilton. To Banks. Is that onside? It is, but Wagner runs back and breaks up the play. Villegas, Giselle Villegas in the box. Villegas shoots. She scores. 8 nothing. the speed and then she was able to get back and then fire it in that left corner. And she can go anywhere with it and that's what's so tough. So another hat trick. So four goals by Banks, three by Villegas. Through ball. Can Watson get there? Nope. 
play by Williams, and then Scouten finally falls on it with Watson also in hot pursuit. Colbert scores the next goal, the game's over. Wagner kicks it out, and we're going to have some subs. Malia Johnson, she's 13. Hazel Tomlin is 22. Olivia Williams is 29 for Culver. Mitchell deflected by Banks. Chloe Wynn knocks that one down. Wagner. Supported by Maya Williams. Diegas, no, Wagner. Diegas passes it. Hamilton. Nice play by Wagner to get it out. Williams to the right wing. Banks. Throw in. Libby Williams gets there. Banks. Banks working on Mitchell. Goes to the side. Deflected, looked like one of Audrey Wagner's knee went up in the air. Mitchell gets it out of the box. Back comes Culver. Tomlin. Hamilton. Hamilton. Maddie. Takes a funny spin, but there is Miley Hines been falling on it. That one knocked out of bounds. We're going to have a sub, Navarro coming in. And Randy Wynn and I will be at Whitco High School tomorrow night. Rochester's playing Whitco in football. Zebra's off to a one and one start. Whitco is also one and one. As for Culver, their football team will host Knox tomorrow night. The final ever Knox Culver football game. Nice play by Maya Williams. Wagner. It's Malia Johnson. Can Villegas get there? Centering pass, Hamilton. Hamilton, shot and a save. It looked like Wagner got in. I don't know if she got a piece of the shot, but I think she just got in Hamilton's way enough where she couldn't get a lot of muscle on the shot. Punt is knocked out. It'll be a throw in for Culver. Coming up on 14 minutes to go. Culver leads Rochester eight to nothing. Is that a bounce? It'll be a throw in for Rochester. for Vela. Hamilton tries to send it through. Handball on whom? Rochester, so it'll be a free kick for Hamilton and the Lady Cavs. 
Clover about to get their fourth win of the year. Fielded on one hop by Heinzman. Anderson, can Horn win the race? Nope, Amaya Williams was there faster. Amaya Williams. Amaya Williams turns the corner. Nice play by Walker, but Ariana Vela gets it back. Malia Johnson. Malia Johnson. Nice play by Wagner to get a foot on it. Viegas and Win. Nice play. That was it. That's Mitchell again. You throw in for Rochester. Everybody's confused at who they went off. It was off Culver. A nice diagonal. Rensberger on the right flank. Rensberger. Rensberger. Oh, Scouten falls on it. Rhea Rensberger was one step away, but you couldn't get off a shot. 10.45 to go. Culver leading Rochester 8 to nothing. Villegas working on Martyr. Villegas, Giselle. Oh, turns back. That's just a good battle. So Wagner. Now Hamilton. Hamilton shoots over the net. Well, Viegas, she, she gets to the 18, then she kind of cuts inside. And that time she tried to cut back to get to some open space. Sub in for Culver. Number 19 is Rebecca Paris. She's now in there for the first time. Jaden Horn. Goes out. Watson was in position there, but Vela is able to kick it out. Martyr. Long diagonal kick that Miley Heinzman runs down. She will punt it up. Harris get there, no. First there's Anderson, Navarra up. Navarra to Watson. Nice play by Megan England. And then Malia Johnson has it. Villegas. Giselle Villegas trying to cut back to the middle again. And that shot goes wide. We're gonna have a couple subs here. Maya Marulis and Abigail Zayner back in for Culver.
Goal kick for Rochester. Xander can't settle. Mitchell gets a foot on it. Walker had it. And there's going to be a foul on Culver. Navarro went down there. Whoa. And we're going to have an injury timeout. Is going to come off. Nelson back in. Williams. Nelson. Rensberger working on Rojas Mendoza. Megan England, who's that out on? It's off Rensberger. Vela. Fan put out an umbrella, that hit the umbrella. Really nice weather today. Over 70s and almost no clouds in the sky. Nelson. What a nice play by Vela. Really sound technical play. Viegas. Don't you get it to Zayner? Paris. Nice play by Walker. Deflects off the leg of Vela. Skyla Mitchell. The right side. Wagner. Can Rensberger get it in bounds? No. Not sure if that was just a foul or out of bounds. What's going on here? Five and a half minutes to go. Culver leads eight to nothing. Okay, so there's a foul on Rochester. Knocked down by that. That didn't feel good for Bria Rensberger. I mean, she's take a ball that hard off your chest. I think that can knock the wind out of you. Lily Kuykendall will come back in. Foul called on Culver, so it will be a direct kick. Here comes Rensberger. Was broken up by England. Malia Johnson broken up by Audrey Wagner. Viegas working on win again. Rochester's got a win, but Culver's going to get the win here, leading eight to nothing with four minutes to go. Through ball. Maddie Hamilton. Hamilton shoots. What a nice stop by Miley Heinzman. She cut off the angle, got a hand on the ball, and then fell on it. Great effort. Taking all. Taking 
Kuykendall. Marked by Nelson. Anderson. Can control. Bela. Audrey Wagner breaks that play up. Rensberger. Rensberger goes down. Good slide tackle. That was a legal play. And we play on. Yeah, that, was, that was a legal slide tackle, just a good tackle. Hamilton. Hamilton in space. Tries to get to Zayner. Timing a little bit off. And then she doesn't get a lot on the kick. And falling on it is Miley Heinzman. Hamilton run down that long through ball. There was a handball on Rochester, which led to the free kick, but Vela yeah, right gets a handshake from her teammates. She was she had a strong game today too. Wagner up ahead. Maroulis and Anderson both fighting for it. Last touch by Rochester. It'll be a throw in for Culver. Final minute. Banks. Kuykendall. Wagner breaks that up. Kuykendall overruns the ball. Mitchell. Williams deflected out off Anderson. Final 20 seconds. Zayner trying to settle it. Mitchell trying to settle it. Last touch by Zayner. Out of bounds. Throw in for Rochester. Orulis knocks that one out. Final 10 seconds. That'll do it. Game ends on a throw in, and the Culver Lady Cavaliers have defeated Rochester 8 to nothing. <laughs> so at least the Lady Z's were able to. Make it all 80 minutes after the previous two games against Trinity Greenlawn and Logansport were stopped short due to the mercy rule, but this one was in running clack territory by the first half. Culver led 5 nothing at halftime, and they go in and win it 8 to nothing. Again, the those two Culver players, Banks and Villegas have been two stars for their team, and they combined for seven of the eight goals today. And Maddie Hamilton at the other one, so. Culver at four and two on the year. Culver bouncing back from that Jimtown game. And this is a team that's, uh, you know, their losses to Bremen and the Jimtown. This is a team that's, those are two good teams. So a Culver team that's in a good place. And as for Rochester, now 0-5, and they still have not scored a goal yet this year. <laughs> 